Hello guys and welcome to this new video. Now today we're going to talk about something really really cool, uh, namely this. Um, this is a honeycomb structure, this is a honeycomb texture draped over this uh, part and you can see it's bending, uh, right? It's like it's offset uh, onto this part. It's like it's a UV wrap right, of these three surfaces uh, put onto the part. Now, I'm not going to show you how to turn Alibre into Blender because you can't, but this is a very interesting trick. So uh, let's get started. So um, I've made these uh, this global parameters part. Uh, we will be making two parts, right? Uh, and we need to link them with uh, a global parameters file. So when one changes, the other one will change as well, right? Uh, so we've made this and uh, let's, uh, let's start with this part. This is a very, very simple part, right? I have designed, uh, you know, a square um, uh, the length, the, um, the sides of the square are driven by the global parameters, right? You see that the name of the parameter is SQLEN, square length, right? Uh, and then I just extruded by another parameter called height. Okay. Then what I do is I make this side, which is very, very easy. I just, uh, project this one in draw a couple of lines and then uh, give them this angle, which I also control with global parameters called surface angle, surface angle, whatever. And then I just uh, circular pattern that 90 degrees to get a, a second one. This is a really simple part, but I want to show you uh, what you can do with this method, which I find very interesting and I've used before uh, to great effect uh, in uh, 3D printing. So we have this part, right? Now, how do we create the texture to drape on this? So we create a sheet metal part, right? So let's uh, call this hex tech sheet metal. You know, we're in the sheet metal environment. First thing we do, we connect the global parameters. Okay, now we've got our parameters here, these, these three. Second thing we do, um, we need to tune the sheet metal parameters a bit. Right, so, Stock thickness. The stock thickness is going to be the thickness of your texture, right? Minimum bend radius. Uh, we need this as small as possible, right? Uh, Alibre is not going to work if we use a value of zero there. So I'm just going to use a very, very small value. Okay, and the K factor, well, we can, uh, we can use uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 in, in sheet metal means that there is going there's not going to be any elongation of the part due to bending and we don't want any global bend relief okay so now that we tuned our sheet metal parameters we're ready to get um drawing so let's say that these two are equal let's get a horizontal constraint going there and let's add our um uh, size parameter here. This is going to be a tab. Cool. Now I want to uh, uh, have a flange going here. Okay, so the angle of the flange is going to be this value, the surface angle. Okay. Now the height. So let's uh, let's make. Okay. What we want, we have the height value, right? But what we want is from this surface to this little edge here, we want uh, the vertical distance to be equal to the height, okay? So let's imagine that we've got a vertical line going down here that we need to be equal to the height. Well, if this is uh, 60 degrees, I think, Surface angle, 60 degrees. Okay, so if this is 60 degrees and we have a vertical here, what's the internal angle? Well, that's easy. That's 90 minus 60, right? Uh, which is 30 degrees. 
but we we want this whole thing to be parametric so we're going to create a parameter called leg angle and we're just going to say 90 minus surface angle so that's that's that angle okay we created it now what do we do with it well we'll we're going to do a bit of trigonometry we're going to say that the length is going to be the height divided by the cosine of the leg angle that 30 degrees okay ah lost the edge so there you go okay now if i apply this okay and then open my measuring tool let's measure from here to here and you will see that along the z axis i get a straight 50 millimeters which is what i want okay so we're doing well let's do the same thing here i'm just going to get this value I'm just not going to type it again surface angle that's brought in cool okay so this is our sheet metal part it can flat pattern as you can see very easily nice cool now we want to turn that that um flat pattern into a texture okay how do we do that well yes we flatten it first Okay, and then how do we turn it into a texture? Well, you could be cutting up all these hexagons, but I like to do it this way. So Boolean intersect, and I'm going to bring in my honeycomb structure. Okay, so if you remember, we made this part back in the video, um, on how to create honeycomb structures right and i showed you this boolean intersect method um, to create that now what that does is this boolean is always going to reference this part so you can create multiple hexagonal patterns on multiple different parts and they will all have the same hexagonal pattern so uh, you're designing, let's say, uh, speakers of different size and shape, but uh, the speaker grill can be this hexagonal pattern and it's going to be uniform across all of them and it's going to be really easy to make. Okay, so how do we, uh, how do we work here? Well, I'm just going to bring in the reference geometry from this uh, part as well and I'm going to start constraining. So let's constrain this to this, and this to this, and this to this. And if you see, now my honeycomb pattern fully intersects my part, plus the origin is precisely in the middle of these four hexagon patterns. Okay, so I have very accurate placement of everything. I hit OK, and... I have this hex pattern then I'm going to rebend select all bends and there you go okay that's it um, let me get the views going a bit better okay there you go so this is our part now we can save this now this is something you can use as a texture but how how am i going to use that as a texture well let's open our base part base hex text let's open it back up and now we're going to do boolean unite guys i think you know by now i love these boolean um operations right okay so let's just drop it in there um, and now we can just constrain it. So let's constrain this surface and I'll go here. And then this surface will go here. Okay, now what else do I need to do? Uh, yeah, 
I also need to constrain this surface to go onto here. And look, look how how beautifully it hugs it, right? It's it's almost poetry. <laughs> Right, and then as soon as I hit OK, I have my hex pattern, right? Plus, uh, th th this is all parametric, right? Uh, so, let's go into my parameters here and let's say now that this is going to be 100 millimeters and this is going to be 32.5, okay? I will save this, I will update my designs, close, hex pattern working. How's that? So yeah, that's how you can drape a texture onto a part, right? This is a, a cheap alternative to the UV unwrap function in Blender, but it works really well. Uh, you can do curved surfaces as well, you just need to match the bend radius. And um, I hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, uh, please subscribe and hit the like button. And uh, if you didn't like it, just hit the dislike button because I still need to know. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.